When working with a complicated model or assembly, it's much easier to copy and paste the animations than to individually apply all the animations in your scene. In this case, I want to create an exploded view, so I'm gonna have multiple parts moving out. To start it off, I'll select one part, right click, and then I'm gonna add a translation to that part. Since I imported this with original units, it's only moving at one millimeter, so I'll type in a larger value. I'm also going to adjust my time so that I have a little bit of motion easing as well as extending that animation so it goes a little longer. I've applied it to that one part, but now I can also copy that to another part. If I select the animation, right click and copy it, I can select another part in my scene tree. Now I can right click and I can paste that animation. Now you can see that I have two animations in my timeline. What I want to do to that second animation is have it a little bit delayed so I can just drag that in my timeline. So I have one part moving out first and then my second part moving out. And then for that second animation, I also am going to change the distance so that it doesn't go as far. So now I can build up my animations by copying and pasting them. What I can also do is since in this model, I've got those same parts on the other side, is I can copy this animation. I can select the part on the other side here, right click, and then I can paste a linked animation. What that will do is that will assign that one animation to the second part. And I can do the same for this part here. Right click, copy animation, select this duplicate part, right click, and then paste the linked animation. So now you can see in my timeline, I have four parts moving, but they're controlled by only two animations. This is really handy as well when you have, for example, all of these screws. I can right click look at so I can focus on this screw and I'll apply an animation to it. I want my screws to fly out. So I'll right click and I'll add a translation. In this case, because I'm using my local axes, it's going kind of in a random direction along that part's local Y. I'll change that. And let's try the Z for that part. And that's gonna be correct. The Z was modeled in an up direction since that's an NX part. Same thing here. I'll adjust my motion easing to make that last two seconds. But now what I can do, copy that animation, and when I hold down shift to multi-select my other screws in this scene here, I can right click and I can paste a linked animation. So now all the screws here are gonna be flying out. Looks like I missed a couple. I'll just find my other screws I click and then paste that linked animation. So now if I go back to my first frame, I'll have my parts move out on the side and then I'll have all my screws fly out as well. Extend that on my timeline a little bit, have them overlap. And now I can hold down shift, multi-select, I can mirror all of those. Go back to my first frame, hit play, now we can see those parts move out. And then since they're mirrored, they're gonna move back in. Copying and pasting animations is gonna save you a lot of time when working with your complex scenes. You can find more tutorials at keyshot.com learning.